it's very difficult to talk about uh, uh, U.S. policy towards Latin America and generalize things because Latin America is, uh, if anything, uh, is, uh, is not a unity. Latin America uh, is highly divided. Uh, there are different problems. There are different approaches. There are different strategies. Uh, different countries have different priorities in the sense of, uh, uh, of what they want to accomplish in terms of relationship with the U.S. So that makes it very hard to, to speak about the Latin America policy from the point of view of the, of the State Department. The other aspect is that a lot has taken place, um, not uh, in, 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 in the last decade or so, which you know we could spend hours and hours speaking about, but uh, if we just look about the last 18 months. Um, uh, since the time the Obama administration began, since all these reports that were published uh, you know, around the time of the inauguration on recommendations, one of them actually done here by a group of, uh, uh, of highly prominent individuals uh, at Brookings, uh, but others uh, had also reports issued at that time. Uh, a lot has changed, and I think what has changed is that um, Latin America has a, self, a sense of uh, self-confidence and self-esteem, which is growing stronger, and it has grown stronger as a result of this global uh, recession. The fact that uh, Latin America withheld the recession relatively well, was able to uh, for the most part, grew last year, uh, was able to adopt a series of policies to offset the effects of the global recession, uh, has generated a sense of, as I said, of, uh, of, uh, of uh, self-confidence and, uh, and self-trust. 